Okay, folks, there's our uh, prototype. It's uh, a couple of revisions later here. I have no drops up here. I only have three drops down here. And um, you see there's a little bit of gold up there. And then quite a bit of material down here. And I swept that all up uh, just now to get it all in the pile. This little gizmo up here, it's a little vibrator up here. And so it vibrates the table. And I want to give a shout out to, to Dan. Peace, baby Dan. Thanks for sparking my brain again about the vibration. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just spaz and you can't uh, you can't remember what the heck you're doing. <laughs> and yeah, I've thought about vibrating tables and whatnot for a long time with uh, with gold uh, from many people. You know, from Johnny. J Johnny's one of my uh, guys I really love a lot. He's yeah, we communicated a lot over the years and uh yeah he he talked to me about that and we talked over and over and over and over and over about that for years actually but uh this little gizmo here is fairly inexpensive to get which is kind of nice and what i did is i printed it with a seven a little bit bigger than a seven millimeter hole and slid that dude in there i just took some hot glue and put it around it so it couldn't easily get wet of course it's a prototype still all right uh finally i'd probably silicone seal it in there or something to keep it as dry as possible it's supposed to be waterproof however you know this little battery pack here it's got two double a's in it and it also has a uh little on and off switch here i don't have any water running so yeah it's pretty vibrating though <laughs> anyway those two double a's this thing's supposed to be uh, 1.5 to 3 volts yeah i think it'll run a long time with this thing doesn't pull hardly any uh wattage at all and so it might run for i don't know a week or something <laughs> or something i don't know i haven't tested that part yet but i will anyway uh i just got it wired up here you know and just nothing special just soldered it on heat heat shrunk a little bit of heat shrink on there and it, anyway it's pretty interesting so far and uh yeah there's a couple things i'd probably do to it finally but uh yeah anyway i'll show you what's going on here yeah. Okay, first things first, I'm going to plug in the, the pump, get the water running, and a big slosh, you can see it uh, knocked it around quite a bit. Got a little bit of material coming off here, right? And uh, of course our gold's sitting up there, good and sturdy. Might be a tiny bit of gold in here after that big slosh of water came through there. I'll sweep this up a little bit, just like that. Nothing in here, I don't think, really. It might be a tiny bit of gold in there, but I'll take a look at it here in a second. But yeah, you can see it's not very active. Let me get this groove sweeped out here so we can look at how much goes into the groove. Okay, so you can see running just like it is right now. I got the back jacked up a little bit. It's still, like I said, in prototype stage, so I... I'm gonna, I don't know, I might make a little stair step gizzy for it, you know, or maybe even use the same one I have. I don't know. Probably make a new one for this, but uh, it may be a one millimeter increments. I'm not really sure. Just, anyways, think it out loud here. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, being able to tilt it a little bit is uh, fairly key. And you can see as we're talking here, it's collected a little bit of, you know, material here, but not much. Not much at all. And that was kind of the problem with it initially. And I wanted the low flow, the dead water flow. It's flowing, but it's fairly, with this little pump, the same one I use in the Gold Cleaner 61 Mark II. Um, but it's, this is six inches wide versus four inches. And so it's a third less flow, basically, across the material. Anyway, as you can see here, uh, I'm just looking at this material. I don't see much action happening. And we've still got very little material in our groove here, right? It's been maybe a couple of minutes now. So let's flip on the vibration here and I'll take a look at it. And I can see immediately we're getting quite a bit of movement of material in here. It's piling up in that groove pretty fast. Let me get the groove sweeped out here again. We can see a fresh, a fresh one here. It's coming off there much faster. There's no doubt about it now. Yeah, that's a big pile of material here too. So, like I said, I just swept it up and threw it on there. 
and so it's got a big old amount there. Let me uh, clean that off a little bit more. Should be able to see how much is coming off here, right? It fills up the groove much faster now. I'd say maybe three or four times as fast as without the vibration. Maybe even more. Maybe ten times faster. I'm not really sure, but it's faster. Let's sweep this up a little bit like we normally would do as we're cleaning our gold. That's kind of how we would do it, right? You see the grid's getting full already, right? Let's clean it out. Sweep this around again. Like I said, I don't think there's much gold in this pile here. It's all up here. I just I grabbed it out, threw it up here so we could play with it a little bit here and talk about it. Let's get rid of that because I can see there's nothing on in there. I would want something small and light like this because we're trying to make something inexpensive that does the job and we don't have to pay $500 for some kind of unit, you know. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I'm looking to make products and items for us that are a song to buy that work and that's kind of the whole focus of here of this uh, gold cleaning action that I keep working on and everybody's got them you know all kinds of them that are expensive but uh, as far as for us hobby guys that get a few you know a few tents here and there when we go to the river yeah it's uh, it's not a workable deal you know and I see no gold in there either so yeah see maybe a tiny bit of gold in here now that we've been playing with it. Looks like there's a piece right here. Get that up there. A little bit there. Let's get rid of this again. I hope you can see that well. Let me uh, sweep some of this up here. You can see that there's some gold in there. Of course, the dirt comes off real easy, right? But that gold definitely is piling up back here. Super fine stuff. If I lower my angle down a little bit more, uh, and or maybe I have to turn off the vibration too to get it to. Uh, totally behave let's try that let's turn off the vibration for a minute let's turn that off and try it here one time just see if the light flow of water the nearly dead water flow is enough to move to move the dirt without the gold so we're down to heavy dirt also right it's very uh it's almost as heavy as uh anyway there's some sulfides in there too which are pretty heavy also that don't look too bad that looks that might not have any gold there hardly at all I'll sweep all this up a little Change my angle down here a little bit lower. Okay, so let's try it dead flat. Let's try it flat one time. Now it's actually a dead water cleaner. <laughs> a dead water finisher now. Because it's flat and we got very little flow. Okay, let's try it vibration with uh with it dead flat there. You're getting some movement now. That can't be gold. There's no way. It's floating along there. And 
the vibration definitely makes it move. There's no doubt about it. Sweep this up here a little bit because there's a uh, quite a bit of gold in there actually. Yeah, there's a lot of fine gold in here. That's why none of it's hardly moving. It's heavy. Of course, as we're piling up like that, then it piles against itself, you know, and uh, it won't move hardly at all. It's an amazing amount of gold there. More than what I thought. Let's try and lift up on it one time just a little bit what happens here. And some of that material coming off here. Mostly just trash. There is in fact a little bit of gold moving super micros that's why i gotta be careful so this is only about two or three millimeters i'm picking it up in the back there and so i think i'm gonna make a step for it that's in one millimeter increments and so maybe one to five something like that because five would be probably like that which is really aggressive right it's even moving bigger gold there so the other thing, good thing though, is that these these uh, safety catches down here, these safety drops, are catching everything. You know, they're, uh, I don't think I'm losing anything right now. And I might be tempted right there to stop and uh, put that in my vial and not go too much further. It's not perfectly clean, but. This gold is so fine, it's uh, very difficult to uh, to clean it up. And so I might uh, just melt a button out of that, just like that. Yeah, that's a pretty good pile there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's sitting like a stone, so I have to say that that's a... Uh, Mostly gold. <laughs> uh -huh. A little bit of darker material in there, but like I said, this is hard rock too. There's some that's not, uh, it's actually kind of gnarly looking. It's not uh, as clean as the stuff you get in the river. It's been beat up and scrubbed clean a lot of times. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, a demonstration. I think I'll shut her down here. <laughs> we'll call it so anyway, yeah there's uh, a little further work on the prototype the dead water finisher prototype it's got it says right there the vibe <laughs> the vibe yeah and it's a little interesting thing these actually come like in phones and whatnot in uh, pagers at least that's what it said and so that's uh that's just about the size i need for this thing i don't want something too aggressive right otherwise all your gold and everything is going flying off <laughs> yeah me too this is uh trying to make it light and handy and inexpensive for us you know that we can uh have something that's cool that works and uh yeah and gets you another tool to work with some super tough stuff you know and the gold cleaners work well for that too they, they, they work for uh, fairly well straight across the board but yeah, anyway, this is a bigger unit and uh, gives you a little more surface area to play with. It uh, shouldn't be very expensive really to uh, to sell. And so, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about one by one today. <laughs> that's fine. Peace, baby. I love you, man. <laughs>